Hey, what's up everyone? Um, on the Dingunity forums, uh, MTH posted about a uh, package deployment or installation uh, system that they are putting in, that are, they are going to be using on the GCW0. Um, it's already working on the internal. Um, I was going to show you guys how it automatically installs upon reboot. I can't uh, show you where you need to put the files. Um, it's a directory on the root of the internal SD card. It's called apps, um, but it won't mount in a Windows system. Uh, so I had to FTP in and put the packages in the actual apps directory. For some reason, my screen capture software does not want to work today. So I want you to take my word for it. The packages are in the apps directory on the root of the SD card. Now when we reboot, the two games will be installed. And I think you guys will enjoy the two games that are going to be installed. So here we go. And sorry for the background noise, today we have an unhappy baby instead of a barking dog. Sorry. And a wife saying sorry. So now we go into games and we have Cave Story and Hexen 2. Um, I also want to mention that uh, recently the root FS has changed and it added hard floats. I don't know, really know what that is, all I know is that it results in a big frame jump for a lot of programs that were running really really slow uh, one for example is cave story uh, cave story on the a320 um, didn't have background music because it would stutter so much it had problems so let's see what happens now Hopefully you guys can hear that. There's no stutter or skip. And that is full background music with Cave Story. So that's really cool and that'll make a lot of people happy. And the next thing we're gonna sh demo is Hexen 2. Now this isn't Hexen 1, this is Hexen 2, which is much more graphically intense. I think on the A320, um, it was running at like 15 frames per second at the most. Um, Let's go ahead and launch it now and see how it works. I also want to mention that the analog is implemented and you use Y and B to go uh, forward and backwards and then X and A to strafe. Um, the uh, analog is currently inverted and I'm not very good with um, this kind of uh, game anyways, so it's gonna look a little sloppy when I play here. As you can see, I'm looking up and down, left and right, forward with Y, backwards with B, punch with the uh, right trigger, jump with the left trigger, and as you can see, it's running smooth as you could possibly want it. So there you have it. Um, a lot of things are happening. Good, good things are happening on the GCW Zero. Hopefully, everybody will have theirs soon, and hopefully, everybody will enjoy it. 